Hello, it's Shanoa from Attentive here with Laurel and Montel, who's going to be teaching us chess and explaining tactics today. So over to you, Montel. Hi, how are you two? Yeah, good, we're good. 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 Great, okay. Um, so now we're going to um, continue what we were doing in a previous video, which is learning to think like a master. Okay, um, so can you um, bog see the board in front of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you were white, can you talk me through um, what the board looks like to you? Both of you. Hmm. All right. Do you want to go first, Laurel, so I don't talk over you? Okay. Um, well, I, I spotted that they've castled on the, on the right side. Um, I don't know. It, it looks like we, we've got two um, minor pieces in, in the centre. I don't know what's happened to our other bishop, they must have gone. Um, and this bishop here that hasn't really got much um, room to move to. So, I don't, I don't know, they're not in the best position, but they're, they're looking quite laid back as well. So, I don't think they're in a great position. I think we are in a better position than them. Okay. Yeah, um, I mean, they're not really no. pinning us at all. I mean, uh, I think the, the knight in b5 is pinning a pawn um, in a7. Other than that, I can't really see. I think all of the pieces on the board are being blocked by other pieces from the, their own side, aren't they, really? Okay, so um, if you were black and it's black to move, um, what would you do? Shinoa and then Laurel. Um, what would I do? I think the first thing that I'd probably do is move my knight at c6 out, uh, probably to. I don't know where I'd move that. Either I could either go to uh, e5 or d4, just so that I can then bring the bishop out more as well, and use that. What do you think, Laurel? That one or that one? That might probably a stupid move. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that if we move that, um, if, we, if we move that knight, then we can, then they can just attack um, our pawn at um, a7, because that, that horse is defending that, yeah, that pawn. Yeah, that's true. So your knight was defending the pawn. Ah, I didn't spot it. Right, what do you think we should do then? Hmm. We could maybe... Hmm. We could maybe bring our, our queen out a little bit okay. to, to the, cover more of the board. Where would you move it to? Here or here or here? Um... Or well, we can't move her to g6 because then she's being pinned by yeah. the white knight. So we'd have to move her to uh, just out once to f7, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you did that and then your opponent went check. No. That's true. Take, so, we'd have to take it with our knight, wouldn't we? But now that queen. Um, can just go forwards as well. We have to do that, what you just said, yeah, but now mm. that queen will just attack us. Yeah, but it's good to, to recognise what's going to happen a couple yeah. of moves ahead. Yeah. And now, what, now what would you do with the queen threatening to come round back? Cool. If only our queen could get in front of that pawn, to, to defend it if but then yeah it will take a couple moves to get there yeah um, i mean i can see plenty of defense but it'd take a couple of moves to get there and we don't have a couple of moves if we moved our bishop back to a8 yeah then maybe yeah because then the queen could only move to the port to the space right next to the, the king we both agree um bishop to a8 yeah yeah, I think that's the oh. wisest choice for now. You did lost the game. Fine. Oh, 
you should have left it there because the Queen can do anything more on its own. But the Queen would wait until it gets reinforcements. Couldn't the Queen have gone to um, to B8? No. Oh no, it couldn't have. No. Because then the um, King would take it. Oh yeah. So the Queen couldn't do anything else, right, until it moves up the pawns. And then when it moves up the pawns, then the Rook can then join into the fray. Um, or it can try to move the bishop to here, oh, yeah. that pawn. But yeah. more than likely, the best move it would do would be to move up the pawn. The reason why it would take that angle, if it was to try the knight, okay, um, the knight would take a bit too long. It would come to there, and then with the bishop still on that square, this is still defended, okay. So what it might be able to do is take that, but then even though it would open the king, there's not a rook there. That's why yeah. it would advance the rook first of all. Okay. Um, so, but in the meantime, if you're counting the numbers of squares, all black would need to do is move that pawn at once. And then yeah. the king can come out. Okay, so we yeah. made a rookie mistake because we panicked, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but people do that. that they that's do that for a Okay. Um, so um, the whole point of doing this is to show you what would happen in a real game and absolutely the idea of putting the queen over there is to try to make your opponent panic into doing a mistake. Yeah. And it worked. Yeah, and it worked. It worked. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, we'll pause that one and then we'll do another one.